All right, so this video is going to be on partial sums, okay? This is generally one of the first things that you learn in Infinite Series. So we, in the last video, we did some conceptual work. We kind of just figured out what we're looking for as far as Infinite Series goes. We understood the whole concept behind convergence and divergence, okay? And now we're going to kind of talk about ways to prove something is convergent or divergent. And one of those ways is with partial sums. So if we had a series, okay, a sub one plus a sub two plus a sub three and so on and so forth, we can find partial sums for this series, okay? And what that means is that we have the sum up to a particular point in that series, okay? So for our first partial sum here, it's only for this piece, which really isn't much of a sum, but it's, you know, the first term in the series. For S sub 2, it's going to be, well, this piece right here, okay? A sub 1 plus A sub 2. It's the sum of the first two terms in the sequence, right? S sub 2, okay? S sub 3, that's going to be A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3, okay? And so on and so forth. This goes on to S sub n, which is going to be A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 on to A sub n, okay? And of course, n can be any number, right? It doesn't have to be a fixed value, okay? It doesn't have to be like all right, 16, something like that. Okay, no. All right, so what we can do now, okay, is, and you, you kind of just kind of realize what we just did, okay? We converted a series into a sequence, okay? We made a sequence of partial sums, okay? And we write that as S sub N in little curly brackets, okay? So now, we can see if this sum, or if this, sorry, if this sequence converges or diverges, and that'll tell us if this series up here will converge or diverge, okay? And, well, how do we prove if, you know, I'll get back to that if that confused you, by the way. How do we prove if this converges or diverges? Well, we just learned that, okay? We just learned that in sequences, we take a limit as n approaches infinity. Okay, because as n approaches infinity, you get an infinite number of terms. Okay, so we're literally finding the sum of an infinite number of terms, which is exactly what we want to do to prove if something is convergent or divergent. We want to take that sum of an infinite number of terms and then see, is that an infinite answer or is that a finite answer? Is it convergent or divergent, right? So if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of this S sub n, we can prove if it is convergent or divergent. All right, and that is how we use partial sums. So here's a little quick example for you, okay? It's basically the same exact thing that we just did, okay? We have now a the, the nth partial sum is a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 all the way to plus a sub n and we also get 4n over 5n plus 7 okay and that is another way to write a sequence okay you can actually write out a little kind of I guess expression with n's in it okay and that is what we can use that's what we can take the limit of okay that's what goes here so what we do is if we want to prove if this is if this series is going to be convergent or divergent, we just take a limit. We take a limit as n approaches infinity of S sub n, that, that sequence S sub n, which is 4n over 5n plus 7. Well, how do we do that? You can use L'Hopital or you can just do a little bit of algebra and divide everything by n to get, you would end up with 4 over 5 plus 7 over n, which of course, if we have a 
super super big number that's just going to make this fraction basically go to zero okay so this ends up being just four over five and we figure out that the series is convergent because we got a finite answer so that basically does it okay so we were able to transform a series into a sequence of partial sums okay and this nth partial sum right here if we take a limit as that n approaches infinity we're literally taking the whole entire sum okay so that will help us prove convergence or divergence okay that will literally say whether the series is convergent or divergent okay we did a little quick example of that right here we got our sequence of uh, s sub n that's right here okay that's another way to write a sequence and we just computed that limit okay and that was four over five that's a finite answer so we found out that this series is convergent so that's going to do it for this video so if this video helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left you can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!